Hello everyone, welcome back to our video. It's me, Rody, <coughs> and I'm going to be showing you how to use air vehicles for the brand new Men of War Assault Squad 2 Galaxy at War update. So what we are going to be using is, um, we're going to also be doing a uh, 1v1 like starfighter fight. So what I'm going to do is first just get like um, a, it actually hurts my eyes a little bit. Um, uh, give me one second. Let's do a nighttime. Nighttime looks the best. So what we're going to do is we are going to get Galaxy at War down here, Vehicles and Specials, and I am going to do a 1v1v1 with all of them. So I'm going to place down a TIE Fighter, because I know these work, <coughs> TIE Fighter, then I'm going to put down a uh, A-Wing, because it just looks better, a lot less clunky. Republic, I'm going to put the Ark. Because again, looks better. Actually, not the Ark. The Ark's really bad at fighters combat in this game. So we're going to be a, a V-Wing. And then last but not least, Confederacy. Now, Confederacy is very unique. The Droid Vulture, very easy to put in. So we're going to have Droid Vulture in one. Republic is going to be, uh, let me just put down uh, three people, doesn't really matter, so we're just going to put one in here, um, so it's going to be two, and three. Now all of them have ordered their ships, let's go here, and what I would like to do is, because the TIE Fighter is so big, make it smaller. What you got to do is just select on it and then hit S. So we're actually going to bring all these to be as small as possible. Actually a little bit bigger would be nice. So they look like sort of like cart, so they look like little toys. And then we are going to, actually that's not what you do. So you want to do is go to current, where it says chases, go to current on the very right and then where it says wheel, airborne. Alt altitude. I rec any really works, but I recommend 30. And now they're flying. They're basically flying. I'm gonna move this. 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 And then I'm gonna move this one to be over here. This. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause. I'm going to make it so I can just work with whatever. And then they're going to move, so to encourage them moving, oh, they already moved. I would just plus start. It's going to happen. These things are going to notice, and now they're going to start flying around. I don't know why they're not shooting. So I'm going to make this thing target that. Yep, there you see. That thing just started firing. That wasn't me, by the way. I told it to target something else. Starfires still work normally, so I'm gonna go to three. Player three, and get the TIE Fighter. And we are going to actually play as it for a second. And you see that thing? It's gonna, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna force it to go over there. What I'm doing is basically just giving each one a target, but they should work. I don't think they're big enough is the issue. So I'm actually gonna restart this. And um, we are going to um, we are going to just make them slightly bigger. Yeah, I don't think they had anything to hit was the issue, so this should be good. But basically what helps them move is if you go to three and then just click on the ground. That should encourage the other teams. Yeah, see, they're all firing at each other now. And that thing just went down. See, now these things will fire on their own. And that thing just directly shot that thing dead. That's one less fighter. And that's basically what you got. So don't make them too small, but I do recommend slightly making them smaller um, just especially the TIE Fighter.
but they can um they will they will actually phase through objects as well but um they will explode if they hit each other so thank you all for watching hopefully this tutorial was somewhat helpful and i will see you all later and goodbye